Well, Matt, it always promised to be a tough match against uh, the League One leaders. What's your verdict after that? We always knew it would be a tough game. I mean, you see the players that, that they have. I thought they controlled the game really well in the middle of midfield. Um, first half, I felt the timing of the goal was really disappointing. Um, look, I, I'm always going to question officials, but in that instance, you know whether or not the throw should have been taken is pretty much irrelevant. We didn't defend it, and I thought we get in at half time and it's nil nil, and they have one chance and in the half as opposed to to us. Uh, but you get in nil nil, it gives you a chance to to reset. And I just felt that that timing of the goal was really effective for them. And it knocked the wind out of us a little bit when we went in at half time. But having said that, you know, second half, we still had moments, but we didn't take them. And I think that, look, let's be, let's be relatively honest about it. You see the level of the players that they're able to bring off the bench and, and we turn around and obviously with all the injuries that we have at the moment, it's disappointing. But my, my clear message is that I don't think these type of games will be the ones that define our season. Um, so I will say that. However, look, I'm really disappointed to hear that we've lost the game 3-0. Dan has a big moment in the second half, as does Max, and we didn't take them. And I think that's the difference. You know, they're big moments in the game. They took them. I thought they controlled it well. I think they're a very good team. Look, they're at the top of our league for, for a reason. One, because they've got really outstanding footballers. And two, because I think... You know, when they get those big chances, they, they put the ball in the back of the net. I was just really disappointed in, in the goal that we conceded because I think one of the things that we can do is deal with, with aerial threats into our box, but we didn't do that today. And, and what happens when you, when you make errors is good teams punish you and ultimately that's what's happened today. Yeah, they were clinical, weren't they? They didn't have that many chances overall, perhaps, but when they did come along, they really put them away so well. Yeah, I think that's, listen, that's what good teams do, right? They stay in games and then when those, those big opportunities, those big moments in games come along, they take their chances. And that's what they did today. We didn't. We had big moments, but we didn't take them. Uh, but what I, what I can't do and what I won't do is, is come away from who we are. And the challenge to, to our players now is that you know, our run has come to an end, if you like. It's time to start another one. Let's be, let's be perfectly frank about that. So, yeah, really disappointed, obviously, today that... Uh, we've lost 3-0. I'm not so sure that the scoreline uh, is reflective of our performance overall. However, look, it's, it's always going to be really tough when you play the big teams in the league and they're at the top of the league for a reason. And our players and our supporters saw that today. But one thing I must mention in the fans, I thought the fans were brilliant, our fans. Never stop singing. And it's, it's easy at times when you are losing a game of football for, for your supporters to... To probably be disappointed, but I didn't feel any of that today. I felt they were excellent and look, all the players went, went over and applauded them. And, and like I've said before, we, we need our supporters with us and they're most definitely with us. So uh, just disappointing because it's, you know, it was a bumper crowd today and, and I felt we could and should have done better than we did. But we have to accept our medicine, get on with it and prepare the team now for, for what is another big game here uh, a week today. And the change you made at half-time, Matt, with Ryan Bowman going off and Max Matter coming on, was that, was that just tactical? Is, is Ryan OK? Yeah, it was my decision. I made the decision to make the substitution. I felt we needed some more impetus at the top of the pitch. Um, so, yeah, Ryan's, Ryan's fit, Ryan's OK. Just my decision. And defensively, you, 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 you limited Portsmouth to, to not that many chances. So you, I know Portsmouth did score three ultimately, but, you know, they've got so many outstanding forward players, haven't they? Portsmouth, so do you take some encouragement from the way you competed generally throughout the match? Yes, I know it's a 3 0 scoreline ultimately. Yeah, not really, no, at this precise moment in time, no. Um, but look, if you give good players space, what do they do? They punish you and score goals. That's what they've done today. We, you know, and, I, and I think it's really important in moments like this that you remove emotion because football is so emotional. I think it's, it's easy to, to say something after a game of football that you might regret I'm not going to do that uh, we got beaten by a better team today you hold your hands up I just felt for our group we didn't uh, we didn't play to our usual standards in terms of with the ball and without the ball but listen I can't criticise this group of players they're giving me everything you still look at 
look at the numbers in terms of players that have still got injured. I can't, I can't say anything other than be positive about my team because every week they turn up, every week they give everything they've got. Are we going to have off days? Are we going to have performances where we don't get the level of consistency we want? Yeah, we will do. But so will every other team in this league. So let's not get away from the fact that we've been on a really good run up to this point. And now the important thing is that we start another one. Leaders here today, and as it stands, you've got the second place team, Peter Brunau, to, to come next weekend. That's a tough fixture list, isn't it, just before Christmas? Yeah, but what a challenge. What a challenge for our players. Look, I thought they're up there with probably the best team that we've played this season here. Uh, so Peterborough is a different challenge, one that we've got to relish, one that our players have got to, to really go out and, and put a performance in in that game. We know if we do that, we can compete with anybody in this league. So that'll be the challenge this week. We'll prepare from Monday onwards and make sure that we're ready for what we know will be another difficult game here. But I'll end with this, that the supporters, can they perform like that uh, again next Saturday? Because I thought they were brilliant today, the way in which they supported the team. And you told us ahead of the game, Eddie Bennett in June, hopefully won't be out too long. Do you expect anybody else maybe to, no. to be coming off the injured list for next week? No. No. I um, can't really expand on that. No, I don't expect anyone else to be um, to be fit. If they are, wonderful, but I can't see it at the moment. Uh, might change. It might change. You know, we might talk later in the week, and and that might be different. But as it stands at the moment, no, unfortunately, I don't see anyone imminently coming back into the group. As always, thanks for your time.